Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a presentable course grid on your LearnDash website. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So as you can see here, we have a nice image here, which has a brief description of your landing page for your courses. And then here is the course grid. So this is where all your courses are displayed. And as you add more courses on your website, they're going to be added over here. So you can also adjust this and make this three columns if you want to. It's just, you know, it's just up to you. And that can be done by easily customizing the short code that comes in with the free plugin. So before we begin, if you buy Divi or LearnDash using my affiliate link, I will give you access to some bonuses. All you have to do is to send me an email to let me know that you've done so and I'll give you access to my courses. All right, guys, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this page. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed LearnDash. So the first thing we need to do is to install this free add-on. So let me show you where it is. So I'm going to come over here on LearnDash and then I'm going to come all the way to add-ons. And by the way, LearnDash has quite a lot of add-ons, which even enhances the way your uh, course website would work. So in this case, we are going to use this add-on called LearnDash Course Grid. So this will add our grid for all the courses that we provide on our website. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and installed it and I've already activated it. Okay, so that's all done, but this is where you need to come. You just come over here to LearnDash and then you go to add-ons and then you can just add it that way. Okay, so now that we've added our add-on, the next stage is to create a page which will have all our courses, courses displayed. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're just gonna give this page a name. So I'm just gonna call this my courses. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. Now, you don't have to have Divi Builder for this to work. You can actually use Elementor or even just Gutenberg to display all your courses. So I prefer using uh, Divi because it gives me that flexibility of designing my pages the way I want. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and click on use Divi Builder. So now we're going to have these three options. I'm gonna build mine from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna add a single column. And in that column, I'm gonna search for a text module and select it. So this code I'm about to uh, paste in here, this is the code that you need. Now, the really cool thing about this code is where it says column equals four, these are the columns. This is how many you wanna have you know, per column. But of course, if you wanna have three, you can just reduce that and just uh, rename that to three, and then it will show three. Now, of course, right now it's not really showing well because um, I need to save this page and then I need to uh, view it as a proper page. So I'm just gonna bring this back to four because I prefer having four. And then I'm just gonna save. Now I'm gonna come back and uh, further design this page, but for now, I think this is okay. I'm gonna save the page. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. So let's take a look at how it looks now. So as you can see, this looks really cool already. Now, here's one issue. You can see here that we don't have an image. So if you have the same problem, what you need to do is to go in and add a featured image. Now, let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna leave this page as it is, and then I'm gonna open a new tab. So that way I can just come back in here and refresh the page. Okay, so I'm gonna look for my courses now. So I'm gonna come over here to Learn Dash courses, and the one that's missing this image is the Money Mastery one. So I'm gonna come back over here, look for Money Mastery, click on Edit. And then all I have to do now is to add my featured image by coming over here to the right, make sure you're on the Document tab, and then click on Set Featured Image. And I'm gonna use this image right here. Click on Select, click on Update. And now when we come back over here to our Courses page, if I refresh this, you now notice that my image is now showing and this is looking much, much better. Now over here, we say that we wanna have four columns here. So you can see there's one missing. That is because the course has not been published. So again, let me show you how that works. So here we have Money Mastery, Astra and my new course. So let's find out which one it is. I'm gonna come back over here to Courses. So it's the Learn Dash Mastery. And as you can see here, it's set to draft mode. So that is why it's not showing. So let's go ahead and work on this. So I'm gonna click here on edit. 
Okay, so we can again, we can see here there's no featured image. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to choose an image in my media library because I don't have a specific image here for, for that course. So I'm just going to go with this one here. Let me see if that works. Let's try this one. In fact, that's too big. All right, so I'm going to go with this one here. So now that I have this added, all I have to do now is to publish the course, hit publish one more time. And then when I come back over here and refresh, now we have the page. So as you can see right now, it says that uh, enrolled, enrolled, enrolled. That is because I'm actually logged in. But if you actually come to this page as a visitor that hasn't you know, enrolled on this website, you'll see a different message. And now let me show you that. So I've just copied the URL here. I'm going to open this tab in incognito mode and paste the URL. And now see what happens. Now it says uh, 147. Now I haven't set the prices for this. That is why the price is not showing. So the visitors to your website will actually see the price of the course here. And then when they click on see more, this will take them to the actual page of the course. And it shows them the current status, the price, and it also shows them here, this is currently closed. And this is where now they can see what uh, content it is for the course. And as you can see, when I mouse over this area here, it says you don't have current access to, to this content. So when you click, click here, this will take you to the sales page, you buy the course, and then finally, you know, you have full access to it. And once you go through that process, this is where it will show you as enrolled. Now, as you can see, this my courses page, although it has all our courses, it looks very boring. Let's spice it up a bit by adding some images here. So I'm gonna come over here to enable uh, Divi Builder. So what we're going to do here is to make this page a bit more exciting by adding more content. So we're gonna add a brand new section here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and click on regular. Okay, so now that I've got this selected, uh, we have to decide now what content we want to add in here. So, I'm gonna go here with a single column and in that column, we're going to add some text. Go ahead and select this. So with this text now, in fact, let's use this lorem text here. So this could be just an introduction uh, text to our page. I'm gonna paste it in here. And I'm also going to set this to a heading two. Then I want to come back and customize it. So I'm going to save this for now. And then I'm going to add another text mode. I mean, text module. I'm going to select it here. And this is just, is just going to be a description of what's in our course. I'm going to copy this text here and paste it over here as well. All right. So with that set now, let's customize this text and make it look good. So I'm gonna come over here to design text and all I'm gonna do here is to center it and also to reduce this width. So I'm gonna come over here to, let's go to sizing. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce the width here to about, let's say, let's go with 75%. Okay, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna do the same here go into my modules and then I'm also going to center this. Now, remember we set this to heading two, so I'm gonna center it as well. And I'm just gonna change this font here to Monsterat. I'm gonna make it bold and then save. So now I need to add an image here in the background to go with this text here. So I'm gonna come over here, click this gear icon, click on background. And then I'm gonna click here on this third tab, click this plus button. So I'm just gonna add pretty much any image here because um, I don't have an image that uh, I can add to go with this uh, course itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this image right here, click upload an image, and then I'm gonna save. Now that I have my image in place, I'm gonna drag this all the way to the top here. And now you can see all my, my uh, Courses here are right here on the bottom. So what we can do now is we can further customize this because right now, as you can see, it's not looking really good because it's pretty much covering our image here. So let's give this image some breathing space by just dragging here like that. So what I'm gonna do now is 
because we have this lady here on the right, we're going to have our text here on the left. So we've got a bit of work to do here to make this page look really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and let's come over here to our heading text. And we need to align this to the left, like um, as opposed to what I did earlier on. Give this some line height, maybe 1.3. And then we're also going to change the text, change this to white because we're going to make this background here a bit dark. Okay, so now the next stage is to just pretty much come over here to our sizing and reduce the width to about, uh, let's say 50%. Okay, because I tried 70%, it's a bit too much. So I'm gonna go with 50% and then save. Right, so the next stage now is to work on this text. But you know what, to be honest, as I'm looking at this, we might not even need this. So I'm gonna delete this, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do next is, I'm just gonna click on this uh, row settings and give this a bit of padding. So I'm gonna come over here, in fact, a bit of margin. So I'm gonna give this a margin top and let's apply to the bottom as well. So let's give this about 50. All right, so that's looking good. So finally, what I'm gonna do now to make this text easier to read is I'm going to apply um, a gradient over here on the image. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon on the settings, click on background, and then I'm gonna click on this gradient tab. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add my first color. Now, usually I like this as black, and this one here, full transparency. So the next stage now for me, in order for me to see what is happening here on my design, I have to place the gradient above the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then all I have to do now is to adjust the angle. So I'm gonna bring it all the way here, making sure that I'm not covering the lady here. Okay. And then I can also adjust the end position. So as you can see, it's getting lighter over here on the lady. So I'm gonna put it down here at 44%, and then let's save it. So now you can see it's much easier to read. Now, if you wanna be a bit fancy with this as well, you can go and add parallax, but you know what? I'm gonna just leave everything as it is. Now, the other thing that we can also do here is we can actually add some negative margin just as a design and just make this text uh, come over here and overlap a little bit. But of course, that's not looking really good. So I'm gonna come over here to my row settings, click advanced, and then, in fact, I need to design. And then in spacing, we want to give this a bit of padding. So let's give this 20 all around, just to give this a bit of breathing space. Okay, so let's give this 20 as well, like that. So now that I have this, I can now go into content and then column one and give this column a background color. So I'm gonna go with, let's go with white, okay? So still, this is not looking really cool. So I'm gonna go back in here and click on this gear icon for my columns, design, spacing. And here we've got 10 pixels. Let's make it about 20, 24. And we're gonna do about 24 here as well. Okay, so now we've got a bit of breathing space here. So what we could also do here is to add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and choose my drop shadow. I'm gonna go with this one here. So as you can see, we've just transformed this design really quickly from a generic design to something that looks really cool. All right, so with that, in fact, this shadow is a bit too much. We can actually um, reduce that blur strength by just dragging this slider here like that. I normally like it at about 80%, make it very subtle. Now let's save this, save this one more time. And now look, we have a course grid. Now what's gonna happen now is when you start adding all your courses on your page, they'll just get added onto the second line here, but it's gonna have four columns. Okay, so I'm gonna save this now and exit the visual builder and let's take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.